from today, Kevin Federline can officially add cover boy to his resume as he graces the front of the March issue of Details Magazine. And at the photo shoot, Kevin gave me the details of being in one of the most scrutinized marriages in Hollywood. Ah, new marriage. Still in that new phase of just every minute wanting to be together. Hopefully it'll always be that way. So far, so good. A bond so tight, Brittany can barely stand to leave her man. Watching from just a few feet above. A love that began when they connected at this L.A. club early last year. Things happen quickly. Did you expect that? Uh, no, I didn't expect it, but I mean, who... You don't just expect to just go find somebody and fall in love. You wish for it. And when it happens, it happens only being in the right place at the right time. And suddenly, the guy from Little Clovis, California, had every move scrutinized. There's a great picture of you on the golf course. Tank top. Well, you I'm know, a bit of a golf traditionist, kid. I gotta tell you. you know, that's a horrible look on the golf course. Well, that's part of their portraying me as, as something else. I'm a normal person just like anybody else. I want to wear sweats and a t-shirt and a baseball hat. And, you know, when it's time to come out and time to to get dressed up, then it's time to get dressed up. You like to get dressed up, don't you? Oh, yeah. And Kevin obviously pulls it off well at his Details Magazine cover shoot. But Kevin's fashion agenda goes well beyond just a few little poses. How did you decide to do Details? Well, I kind of want to break into a little fashion. Me and the wife got some things that we're going to do. You guys are designing some, some clothes? Mm, we're thinking about it. So you might get into designing men's clothes. That's what I wanted. So that's the professional plan. As for the pressure the pair face while being constantly bombarded in their attempt at a private life. There's nothing they could do to get to her. I love her more than anything and that's it. I spend the rest of my life with her and deal with the good and the bad. Just know there's always good on the other side of bad and you gotta stick it out. And to his credit, there aren't a ton of guys who could pull off the chihuahua look. <laughs> no, but Kevin and Brittany did have a whole bunch of different looks going on on their honeymoon. And now you can check them out for yourself with their honeymoon photo album. On October the 18th, Brittany and Kevin hopped on this Fiji seaplane to reach their honeymoon hideaway, Turtle Island. They were greeted by island locals with lays and drinks and took in a little beach canoodling. On this extremely secluded 500-acre resort, the honeymooners stayed in their own two grand a night beachside bungalow. And look, there's Britt enjoying a traditional two-handed Fiji Lomi Lomi massage. The honeymooners floated around on the Blue Lagoon, yes, the movie was shot here, and then ate lunch beachside. It's traditional for guests who stay in one of the 15 bungalows on the island to make their own stone as a remembrance of their visit. The resort places the finished stones on the walkways to the bungalows. Brittany and Kevin Stone reads BF and KF, their initials, and the word Paradios, which is Spanish for with God. Brittany further personalized their stone with a colorful pink and orange bracelet and then dated the rock October the 26, 2004. The newlyweds mingled with the island natives, but it was the owner's two young daughters who caught Brittany's eye. The pop star who has said she is looking forward to motherhood may have gotten some practice. But when it was all said and done, it was just about Brittany and Kevin being together. Stolen moments, laughter, moonlight dinners, and pure romance. Ten days later, it was time to leave paradise, but the newlyweds didn't go home empty-handed. Brittany and Kevin received a Turtle Island photo album filled with photos from their trip as a keepsake. Now, if you'd like to study those photos intently, Us Weekly has some of them on newsstands Thursday. Tomorrow 